Somebody call for refrigerator repair? In here! Hello there, young lady. Is your mommy home? This isn't my home, it's my lab. And my mommy didn't call you, I did. Well, aren't we all grown up? You must be Darla Guggenheek. Please, my friends call me the Geek. Ah, the Cool Spot Super 6. Dandy of a unit. What seems to be the problem? Well, for starters, it's possessed by some unearthly presence, it sneaks up behind me a lot, and it doesn't keep my soda cold. Sounds like a power surge. I'll have her fixed in a jiffy. Right. That's what the last two repair guys said. Well, this has just gone too far. Computer. Working. Put out an urgent call to Sam and Max. Who? Last time on Sam and Max. Boy, those were fun times, he said wistfully. You can say that again, Max. But like all dry spells and peach pits, this too shall pass. I sure hope so, Sam. It's been at least five minutes since my last brush with death, and I'm getting light in the head. Try eating a cookie. Yes, uh-huh. Ten-four. Affirmative. Roger. Miller. Gotcha. Check. <laughs> We're on it. Was it the commissioner? Not exactly. It was someone not unlike the commissioner with all the intolerant intones of the commissioner who sounded remarkably like the geek and therefore could very well have been the geek. You have a long black hair growing right out of your nose. She says there's bad trouble down in the sub-basement of solitude. It's a case! To the lab! <laughs> Fun little pal? It's curiously unsettling. Well, Secretary General, there are no easy answers to the global warming problem, but if you're asking my opinion. Incoming. Incoming. Ah, uh, jeez. Can't they ever take the stairs? Gee, I hope this wasn't anything important. It looks like an incredibly virulent form of the plague. But tastes like butter. Look, Sam, the gate fixed our car. It's got new headers and lifters and retractable headlight howitzers and everything. Jeez, 
too good to us. You can say that again, little buddy. I love having a sub-basement of solitude with our very own genius girl to think up wildly improbable stuff for us. Like this exploding Max decoy with realistic action banner. Death from above. Death from above. It's what I've always wanted. Thanks, Geek! Keep it down, you guys! I'm on the phone to the United Nations. Doing a little moonlighting for the world powers, I see. I had some free time. Secretary General, I'll look into that ozone thing right away. Over and out! What took you guys? My bridge is really acting up. Golly, Geek, we had a hankering for something a little more dangerous. Life-threatening, even. Hmm. So far, it's absorbed three innocent repairmen. Now you're talking! Okay. On my signal. Three. Two. Open the door right now! Kill Fred! Freeze unit! I can't believe I shot at an innocent vegetable. I can't believe I said chill. Oh well, nothing spooky or untoward inside. It's not fair! Give it a minute to warm up. It's an old fridge. Happy now? This is definitely a job for the freelance police. The light. Go into the light. This is no time to mock the paranormal, little pal. We need to look into this. Check. They met Yukon Cornelius, scallywag of the north. Max, snap out of it. What did you see? I, I saw what can only be described as a gateway to some wondrous parallel dimension. Great. But did you see any fudgicles in there? Look way in the back. Stop it, Sam. You're making it mad. Oh, Max doesn't mind, do you, Max? Ah! Whoa! I'm just tossing darts in the dark here, but I'd say this whole trans-dimensional mess is the combined result of you storing toxic oozes in leaky zippy lock bags in a freezer that's about as neglected as Quasimodo at a Sadie Hawkins dance. Can you guys just do something about this, please? Sure, but do you have any sage scientific advice before we venture into this presumably hostile unknown dimension? Well, it's unknown and presumably hostile. I'd be careful. Thanks, Geek! You're the best! There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Well, here we are, in the hostile parallel ice dimension, contained inside the Geek's freezer. And me without my lip balm! And you without lips. But enough of this. In the morning, in the evening, ain't we got fun? La la la, la la la, la la la. A makeshift sled using giant french fries and spit. Mush, Max, mush. If we ever hope to find those repairmen and get home in time for a huge self congratulatory hoagie, we gotta find the source of all these multi dimensional shenanigans. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Scarecrows. Crude, but effective. How so? There's not a crow in sight, and the corn hasn't been touched. Crows are here to scare off more than just crows. Perhaps whoever lives down there can provide the answer. What's the password? And if you say swordfish, I'll lose it! The password is Haggis. Boy old. Haggis! No signs of life, Max. Still, I can't shake this uneasy feeling that we're being watched in a cliché kind of way. Yeah, it's just like in those cheesy teenage gore flicks. Don't strip for a shower unless you want to buy the farm. And speaking of cliché movie moments... Freelance police! Nobody move! Good work, little buddy. He 
You can unhog tie us now. Not until you say cheese. Cheese. Sorry about that back there. We thought you were the thing. The thing? A shape-changing entity of unfathomable evil that's been stalking us. More sticky buns? Oh, I really shouldn't, but... It's just a matter of time before it gets us all. We're doomed, man. Doomed, I tell you! Listen, no more coffee for you. Like you, we too were snatched like babes from our mother's arms. But why? What is this crazy upside-down world? Ah, uh, that's easy. Tell them, Max. All right, Sam. You and your friends have been whisked away for an extended stay in the frigid ice world spawned inside the Geek's Cool Spot Super Sex Icebox. Yes, it's all coming back now. Darn this topsy-turvy house of horrors! We're doomed, I tell ya! <laughs> doomed! Hudson! Sorry, the four of us are just real messed up about all this, you know? The four of us? Hey, who's the new guy? Now there's something you don't see every day. That's exactly why I quit my summer job at the petting zoo. There, you see? It just took Higgins, man! Yes, the air is still charged with its icy presence. And unless I'm mistaken... Peach Cobbler! Max, get a reading on this! If we can glean the thing's basic molecular composition, there may be a way to destroy it. Glean? Is that a real word, Sam? Hmm, just as I thought. The thing was born of a bizarre chemical reaction between the geek's ill-stored biological pan drippings and... Salisbury steak and gravy! It's a monstrous TV dinner gone bad. Fascinating. What is that device? Some kind of tricorder? Actually, we're deep in the fourth quarter. Pinhead. <laughs> well, here we are in a deadly game of cat and mouse with the thing. Tell me, Sam, why the heck are we doing this again? It's simple, really. If this so-called thing should somehow find its way into our world, devouring unsuspecting citizens who have no natural fear of frozen entrees, it would surely cause a nationwide mistrust of pre-manufactured foods of all kind, forcing producers of salty, overcooked, man-sized portions to go bankrupt. To safeguard American businesses, Max, that's why the heck we're doing this. And because we get to rave these around! Without saying. Freezer burn to heat and serve. Do you read me, heat and serve? Over. No sign of anything. All's quiet here, but wait. Oh no. It's behind us. Ah! We read you, Freezer Burn. Just testing the equipment. Over. Well, don't. Any sign of the beast? No sign of him yet. Although we may have stumbled into its den. Help! Please help! Finish me! For the love of Mike, just do it! I guess we could do that. But can't we just rescue you instead? Oh. All right. That's good, too. Steady, man. Like all wild creatures, it's easily spooked by sudden movements. Nice. Freeze, Andre! We're packing heat! Reheated beef like byproduct. Coming right up. Say your prayers, dinner. Or your dinner prayers up. Something. <laughs> Gee, I don't know anybody who could firebomb kittens. Here, let me. Wow! Whoa. It's a nondescript supermodel. Quick save! Get a picture! <laughs> You always have that effect on the ladies. There's no time to lose. Our only hope is to activate the outpost's automatic destruct sequence and blow the thing to bits. Sorry, we don't have an auto destruct. Then we'll overload the post's environment controls, superheating the nuclear power plant, and. No, no nuclear power plant either. Just base heaters. Okay, we'll jam a scuba tank in its gaping maw and shoot at it with rifles and zero. Scuba tanks? Rifles? We have no use for such things. We could throw lit matches at it. <laughs> yeah, it hates that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Looks like the end of the line, Sam. We're about to be scarfed like a couple of cocktail weenies. I may scream like a grandmother. Me too, little buddy. If only we were on the other end of this nightmarish food chain. I'm starved. Hmm, <gasps> this is a new wrinkle. Boy, and I thought I had issues. Gentlemen, we have the thing's assurance that the attacks will stop. Under one condition. The hideous creature before you is the last of his kind. Only he remains. And being a TV dinner, his destiny is, you know... To be eaten. What are you? Crazy man? What kind of sick lunatic would volunteer to do that? Ooh, pick me! Ooh, me! Ooh. Sorry, little pal. You just don't have the sheer girth to volunteer for such a hazardous mission. This one's on me. It won't be long now. Sam skipped lunch. <laughs> Hello there. Don't be afraid. I'll be your eater for this evening. Thank you. No, thank you. It's over. He's gone on to a better place. How was he? At the end, I mean. He was happy. And except for a little freezer burn, surprisingly tasty. <laughs> yeah, but where does this leave us? We're still stuck here, man. Doomed, I tell ya! Doomed! That's it! The excitable guy's got a point, Sam. And a timely one at that, Max. For according to my calculation, the thing's demise should severely compromise the stability of the dimension. Right about... Love you, man. Very good, Very good job. Nice game. Nice game. You're Very friends one. for life, you know? Hey, Sam, what's the matter, boy? I don't know. I'm experiencing quite a lot of discomfort here, Max. Maybe it was something he ate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh! You see? It's that thing, man. It's alive. It's gonna hatch out of this guy and do the same to us. We're doing the same. Hudson. Feeling better? Much! You guys! Look what you did! The lab is ruined! Oh, I wouldn't say that. Some fresh paint, a few plants here and there, and a construction crew working around the clock, and we'll be good as new. And as for getting some of this lab equipment repaired, I think we can call in a few favors. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least my fridge is fixed. And so is the ozone, by golly! Look! Repeating our top story just moments ago, an unknown gas was released into the atmosphere, creating what scientists are calling an impenetrable yellowy buildup around the inner lining of the ozone, effectively plugging the hole. And how do you spell relief? Well, I'll be... You did it, Geek. You repaired the ozone layer. The world is in your debt. We thank you. Don't thank me, Secretary General. Thanks, Sam and Max. Freelance police. Oh, go on. Stop it. I got 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 it. Yes, yes. I see. Uh-huh. Ten four. That was the commissioner, Max. He said there's bad trouble in the lost city of Atlantis. What kind of trouble? It's lost, ain't it? Let's roll. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>